So what is it that makes Star Wars great? One of the primary reasons that I have always been interested in Star Wars is the lightsabers. Um, I love the idea of a laser sword that can cut through anything and you know compact down into a nice small portable size. So here we have one of the original sabers. Um, one of the most memorable or pivotal scenes of the original Star Wars film was when Obi-Wan Kenobi gave this hilt to Luke Skywalker and he turned it on for the first time and was waving it around and looked like he was going to hurt somebody. Um, I love what Obi-Wan says about it then. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster, a more elegant weapon of a more civilized age. And here is the Luke Skywalker Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope Saber. It is a very faithful re uh, recreation of the original prop. In fact, it should be. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It should be completely screen accurate. Apparently, I didn't clean it very well, sorry. It should be completely screen accurate. Not made out of the exact same parts, obviously, because it's shrunken down, but <clears throat> you can see all the really interesting little bits and baubles that there are on it. There's little greebles and doodads and a little graphlex clamp and anyway it's cool it's just enough of a combination of busy to be interesting but not too busy to be irritating this button even pushes in I don't know if I can demonstrate it boing boing it doesn't do anything but it it springs back out that's cool um, Holy crap, that moves. It actually comes out all the way. I wonder if that's supposed to be glued on there. Great, I'm breaking my super rare, hard to find toys. I have no idea if this is rare, hard to find at this point. Pretty sure this lever does not move though. But anyway, it's got the bubble strip, which, anyway, we don't need to talk about that. There it is. Return of the Jedi. Sorry. <laughs> A New Hope lightsaber. Now, Luke Skywalker used the same lightsaber in Empire Strikes Back. In fact, he only oh, sorry the camera. He only used this in that one scene with Obi-Wan Kenobi and then he never used it again unless I'm horribly mistaken. In Empire was the first time we saw Luke actually wield the lightsaber in any sort of useful manner in which he cut off the arm of a helpless, defenseless wampa that was just trying to eat his dinner. Um, you'll notice that it's different. The this switch, Bob, uh, switch dealy is on the opposite side. It's also different. It looks like leads off of a circuit board rather than the little bubble. The clip is a much larger thing. The grips have screw holes or rivets, I guess, notched out and stuck into them. Um, on the back it has the same, and on the emitter it has the same little rabbit ears that are of a springy variety. It has the same little, I think one of the visual dictionaries called these little pins, charge ports. It's got the same button. They're both spring loaded. This one has a little extra dealy coming down off there. Um, and instead of this light thing, it's got another button. Now why is it different? I don't know. Well, okay, the practical reason is that I'm pretty sure this prop was lost or was disassembled and not kept track of and so when they went to make Empire they had to recreate it and they didn't have all the things, maybe they didn't have good references. They must have had good references at some point because we can make replicas of it now. But for whatever reason, it's slightly different. Um, I can except an in-universe explanation that maybe Luke tinkered with it as he was learning how to use it and decided he liked the switch better on the other side. and I don't know. But if we were to uh, take a second and look at this lightsaber off to the side, this is the Episode 3 Anakin Skywalker saber, which in theory should be the same as this because this is the one that Obi-Wan picked up after their 
duel at the end of the film and then presumably gave to Luke 20 years later. Again, differences. This one's a far... I don't know, the shininess of it makes it seem more... some more polished. This looks like a scratch-built thing, which is what it was, whereas this was a custom-machined, computer-designed device. I do like this switch, though, that presumably would slide up and down or a rocker. Um, but it's like the Empire one in that the switch is on that side. It goes back to a, you know, just a copper dealy. This is a, an actually custom machined emitter part now with a little rod in there, whereas this was bits from the actual Graflex flash, I believe. So that bothers me. I mean, why would Obi-Wan completely disassemble it and remake it out of different parts before he gave it to Luke. That doesn't make any sense. And it's got the the new prequel style belt clip instead of just a regular old C clip. Weird. But it also gives me the opportunity to own three variations of the same thing, which I always like to have. Now returning to Luke's lightsabers, we've got the Jedi saber, which I think I already looked at in the Obi Wan review because it resembles that one significantly, but with the weird pommel and the grenade thing and the narrow neck and the funny emitter. The only thing even remotely like Luke's previous lightsabers are that it's got some big switch housing off to one side. But anyway, there you have the three Luke Skywalker lightsabers as used in the films and Anakin's lightsaber. I recommend them if you're in the kind of you're into this kind of small scaled prop replica that doesn't take up a lot of space. I meant to have uh, I meant to have a Star Wars figure here so you could see how big they are, but I forgot to get one out of the box. So we'll have to settle for friendship guy, Common Rider Forza, who's about that tall. Mm. So if you know how tall the figure arts is, that's how tall these are. Anyway, thanks for watching.